Somebody sent me this. I think this is from a while ago, but I never uh, saw it before, so I wanted to talk about it. This is John Hagee losing it on atheists in a sermon. They're saying that the Ten Commandments have been taken out of the courtrooms and out of the schoolhouses lest we offend the atheists. Let me be, 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 be very clear. This country was not built for atheists nor by atheists. It was built by Christian people who believed in the Word of God. To the atheist watching this telecast, if our belief and God offends you, move. There are planes leaving every hour on the, on the hour, going every place on planet Earth. Get on one. We don't want you, and we won't miss you. I promise you. Our coins say, in God we trust. President Obama, you recently told the foreign media that America is not a Christian nation. You're absolutely wrong. We were, we are, and always shall be a Bible-reading, praying Christian people. Several years ago, witchcraft and Satanism were officially approved by the U.S. military at the direction of the U.S. Congress. We have officially chosen to recognize another God. I call upon the members of Congress to outlaw the practice of witchcraft and Satanism in the U.S. military lest we offend the God of heaven. I don't care about the atheist. Right, John. Witchcraft and Satanism was officially approved by Congress. What planet does this guy live on? Could you imagine on a Wednesday they're sitting there, they're like, okay, uh, HR 646, we are going to talk about whether or not we will give a subsidy to small businesses in Cleveland, and then after that, we either approve or disapprove of witchcraft and Satanism. Which bill was that, John? I'm curious. Who proposed it? Can you give me any information on this bill, or did you just absolutely make that up? Of course he made it up. I mean, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, and then... I mean, there's so much to, to talk about here, but the, the main thing that I could not get out of my mind while I heard him talking is that we, we never say that to Christians. You will never find a single atheist, agnostic, secular humanist, de even a deist or a you know, universalist or somebody who's like a spiritual person but doesn't actually believe in a god, you'll never find any of them saying that to Christians. It is only the, the Christians who say, well, if you don't like the country, get the fuck out. Doesn't that show you something? And also, by the way, yeah, he sounds just like Jesus. If you don't agree with me, move. What was that, Psalms 42? Was that Mark uh, 7, lines 4 to 9? What, what is that? Yeah, if you don't agree with me, you should get out of the country. Very Christian message that really is there. Uh, and here's something that John Hagee will never get through his thick head or his thick everything because he is very thick. Uh, and all these fundamentalists will never get, and I don't think they care to get because they're not dealing in facts, they're dealing in emotionalism. We are not a Christian nation. It's not my opinion that we are not a Christian nation. It is a fact that we are not a Christian nation. Why do I say that? Well, how many times does the Constitution reference God? Zero. Jesus? Zero. The Bible? Zero. The only time it mentions religion is once, and it's in the Establishment Clause, where they say, we shall not establish a religion. Uh, the Establishment Clause means that the government has to remain neutral on the, issues of on the issue of religion so that we accept uh, Hindus and Buddhists and Protestants and Catholics and uh, Scientologists and Mormons. Obviously, a lot of these didn't exist back then. But we are tolerant of all religions, and the government cannot take an official position on it because you can't have the government valuing one over another. But this guy is so dumb, he actually thinks that it's worked into our founding documents where they say, no, we are officially a Christian nation. I mean, most of the founding fathers were deists. There are quotes that go on and on, whether it's Benjamin Franklin or Thomas Jefferson uh, of the founding fathers, that they're openly hostile to religion. Remember, a deist is somebody who believes in God, but they don't, it's not a specific God of any particular religion. They just think, oh, I guess we were created because I don't know how to explain how we look 
designed. And back at that time, it made sense to believe that because we didn't really understand natural selection or, or evolution. But this is a group of guys that uh, they said light, uh, lighthouses are more useful than churches is one that comes to mind. I believe that's Benjamin Franklin. Another one is uh, this would be the best of all possible worlds if there were no religion in it. I mean, Thomas Jefferson wrote a book and took out all of the claims of divinity uh, of Jesus in the Bible and just like basically reprinted the Bible without the bullshit in it. That's not a guy who's actually a theist.